before we get into this video, I just wanted to show y'all this one clip. Um, yes, I'm sharpening my knife. This is my six inch fillet knife. I don't think I mentioned that in the video, but I um, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I explained everything in the video. Uh, if I didn't, I'm gonna be doing voiceovers throughout the entire video. So if I miss anything, you won't miss in the video. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, what's going on guys? It is Daman Outdoors, we're fishing with Daman here. And today I'm going to be filleting a uh, golf kingfish or whiting. Uh, this is actually my first time doing this. I actually finished filleting one of them and it came out pretty nice, but uh, I'm gonna do with this one on camera. Since the first part I recorded, I don't know what happened. My camera or my tripod kept falling over and stuff. But I think I got it stable now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Now, uh, I did catch these. I went to Orange Beach, Alabama. We fished the Gulf Shores Pier uh, late at night for these, and I used shrimp. Uh, I went there like more towards the night in the evening. It was about five, six. Um, I caught a couple of hardheads, uh, caught a, a plenty of spade fish and one lady fish, and I hooked onto something huge. It was just huge and silver. I, I don't know what it was. Uh, my guess would be a pompano. I didn't see any dots or stripes. I just saw something huge and silver. So Yeah, I had no clue what that was Then the night I went to catch these whiting uh, caught many hardheads uh, three whiting one I threw back It was a little too small and uh, hooked on to something huge and I, I couldn't see what it was. It was just taking drag, but uh, Yeah, man, I wish I could have landed those two fish, but That's why it's called fishing not catching, right? This fish still is a little frozen, so it's gonna be a little hard for me to uh, fillet these, but I'm kinda hungry, so. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm not sure if I said this while I was making that intro, but all the fish I've caught in Orange Beach were uh, caught on shrimp. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna put in a bonus clip of a fish I caught. It's pretty cool. Uh, I sent it to one of my friends, uh, shout out to Asai, by the way. Um, that's who I sent that video to. You already know what I caught. Clipper's pretty cool. I thought I'd just share it. Look at all these flies here. Okay. Hey, that's a piece of meat right there. I'm gonna save this for my fish. They might eat that. Come through here. Yeah. This over here. Okay. Now the reason I'm making this video, uh, I asked my mom or I asked my parents, both my mom and my dad, uh, what does whiting taste like, and they said. Uh, didn't taste too well. They had bad experiences with it. Um, hopefully, I can change that for them because I I refuse to believe that this fish is horrible to eat. But yeah, I mean it looks pretty good. Look at look at this filet. White meat. A little soft, but it's okay. All right, let's set this aside. I did miss a little bit. I'm gonna take that out. I missed a little bit. All right. Feed this to my fish too. Oh, 
But other than that, y'all, this doesn't look bad at all. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get to the other side. All right, I'm gonna slow the video down and let's see what's inside of his mouth. Like, it was late at night, I couldn't really see nothing. Look at look at how that comes out, y'all. See if y'all can get a better look. These guys don't have teeth. Has a little tongue though. Let me see if y'all can see that. It's a funny looking fish. So I finished filling the entire fish and now we're going to remove the skin off the filet. Um, honestly, now I'm looking back on this, uh, I think this is the best I've ever removed the skin off the fish. Like, it, it, was, it was nice. Um, I was watching YouTube, looking at ways to uh, perfect my filleting skills and I found that a lot of YouTubers I've been watching, they hold the skin and they just wiggle it. They keep the knife still, just wiggle the skin. and. It separates the skin from the meat and it, it looks nice man so i tried it out i did it found um i left no meat on the skin which is really good i got everything off and if you are new to the channel um i do this a lot i i explain everything i'm doing when i'm filleting the fish um i have two or three videos up one on a black crappie and one on a red or sunfish so if you haven't seen those go check those out but yeah um I think my main goal for the day is to show you guys how to fillet fish and get better at it if you ever want to do this and with whiting uh, i actually found this out uh, i was filleting it and i removed the ribs which i do with every fish then it was a set of pin bones i don't run into these a lot with a lot of the fish i fillet i just remove the ribs and boom we're good but no this fish had pin bones so i removed those and it was a boneless fillet I think some other species of fish have them as well. I haven't filleted too many fish. But, um, you know, now that I have, I can definitely watch out for this. And keep my fillets uh, boneless. Welcome to the kitchen. Um, I think this is the first time y'all been inside my kitchen. But uh, we're going to season the fish. Um, I used salt, pepper, and it was another uh, spice. 
I think it was by Tony's. I think it's Tony's Blackening Seasoning. But um, we're going to season the fillets on both sides. And then, uh, let's see, what else did I do? We seasoned it. I cut up lemons. I think I used eight pieces. Put the fish and the pieces of lemon in the bag. And then I let it sit overnight. I was going to cook it the same night I was seasoning it. But I got tired. So, just bagged it up. And let it sit overnight. For about 24 hours. As always, get you some butter, put it in the pan. I can't give you guys a proper measurement. I just got a little bit. It's enough for about four pieces. Don't worry. Um, I know I put my hand on the pan. The pan went off. I'm turning it on right now. We're going to put it on. If your stove has numbers, I put it on three to four, which that would be like low heat. You need to go ahead and walk off and wait. Not playing. Let your butter melt. Um, pick up your pan, move it around. Let the butter get all over the bottom of the pan. And then you can add your fish in. Guys, comment down below if I should use oil in one of the next cooks. I've been thinking, you know, people who cook with oil, uh, if you're watching this, you know that oil starts popping everywhere, no matter what the temperature is, man. I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> you cook anything, you cook fries, veggies, meat, the oil just goes popping. I, I don't know. So I like to use butter a lot. But yeah, comment down below if I should use oil in one of the next cuts. I might fry something. I don't know. Because these fillets were so thin, I cooked them for four to five minutes on each side. They came out perfect. Um, I was able to change my mom and dad's view on this fish. They said it was really good. They would eat it again. Um, I think uh, maybe the fish, when they were eating this in the past, it probably wasn't fresh. So I can't blame them for that. But you know, I was happy to change their view on this fish. Um, I plated it with rice and just the fish by itself. I didn't have a lemon this time because I used it to put it in the bag, but it's all right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below what I should do next. And I'm going to include this clip. All right, I recorded this from my action camera. The audio isn't going to be too good, but I think I fixed it to where you guys can hear what I'm saying. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go! Oh my god! Is this a keeper? Oh my god, a mangrove snapper. There's a whole lot of them under there. Oh. Was that on video? I hope that, I hope I was recording. Is this a keeper mangrove? I think I gotta be twelve out here.